hi guys welcome to my channel it's your girl cindy here again please if this is your first time to be on my channel kindly subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and always drop a comment on the comment section thank you guys let's go guys so today we'll be talking about volunteering tips i'll be sharing with you guys 10 important tips for volunteers 10 important tips for volunteers so let's go guys first of all before we go what's volunteering volunteering is giving out your time your effort and ability to aid others especially in an organization first tip here is understanding the meaning of volunteering which i just said now that's the art of you giving out your time your effort and ability to aid others especially in the community service ranging your service your time giving out your time your opportunity in a community or in an organization to aid others to help others to help the less privileged ones and the community at least improving your community first of all you have to understand what volunteer is all about before you go into volunteering set a smart goal for yourself as a volunteer now this is very very important as a volunteer you need to set a smart goal for yourself yes that's very very important because now i understand that most most volunteers does not have goals sorry about that but it's obvious before you become a volunteer there should be a goal for you you should have your own goal your mission your vision should be there and your objective your aims yes because i understand that if if possible you've determined you want to do this thing because it's a full-time commitment though, to me if possible you say i want to do this thing and you don't have to tomorrow say i'm not doing it again there should be a goal set for you you should have a goal on yourself like you should say okay this is what i want to do before the end of this year as a volunteer this is how many organization organization i want to work with this is what i want to achieve working with them mm -hmm. you should not all these things your goal your mission to, you should be there as a volunteer your vision as a volunteer should be there your goals too should be there your aim and your objective should be there and when you when you volunteer your when you're volunteering your volunteering should align with your goals and everything that you set for yourself for the year do you get now most that's why you see most volunteers most volunteers they'll just wake up tomorrow and they'll tell you that they are tired they cannot do this they're not ready to give this commitment again that's because most of them does not have most of them does not have goals they do not set goals for themselves and i'm not surprised yes because they don't know that you have to, because when you set these goals you want to meet that target that you set for yourself do you get you want to meet that target you want to you want to make sure you are fulfilled like you have this space of fulfillment with you within you because let us say the truth every day when you wake up and you have a goal for yourself for the week or for the day and when those goals are accomplished in your mind there's this fulfillment that comes in let's not accept the truth there's this you say you are watching you know what i'm talking about there's this fulfillment that comes in that like wow okay out of five goals i did i said today i was able to achieve the five goals or i was able to achieve four there's this fulfillment but when you set five goals for yourself in a day and finally you're able to achieve just one or two or more let's not accept the truth this there will be this ah, i'm not doing well though i'm not really doing well on this goal setting though you 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 blame yourself you tell yourself you talk to yourself yes you tell yourself the truth yes so before you become a volunteer there should be you should be able to set goals you should be able to know your goals and understand them that's very very important know your goals understand them before you become a volunteer so this will help you to move further than you even expect yes you'll be on a high skill do you get that's it know the organization you're working with Yes, guys know the organization you're working with how do you know the organization you're working with before you go into volunteering i know most of us just like i say if you set your goals you'll be able to know the organization you're working with that's one point and if you set your goals very well any organization you work you should know the organization um missions and visions and your goals should be aligned together that's true all these things you should note them yes if 
if if possible I want to make an I want to set an example now. Now you are volunteering for an organization and you conclude that this organization I'm going to be volunteering with. Okay, maybe your own personal goal is to reach out to the less privileged ones, to reach out to the less teens, less teenagers. And now and you 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 want to work with organizations, you want to volunteer. Set your mindset on the organization that has that is reaching out to the less privileged ones. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. Set your mindset to the organization that is reaching out to the less privileged ones. Now, not because for the fact you said that I know we have Syria volunteers. Yes, I know we have them. We I know we have them. Fine. I know. And it's very good when you become a serial volunteer. Now, when when you set your goals around that corner, like okay, oh fine, oh, I'm working with the less privileged teenagers. Now, look for organization that is working with less privileged teenagers and anchor your your goals with them. Like like match it together with their own and achieve your aim. Thus if if that's what you're committed in doing. Like you're trying to meet up that that's what you're committed to do that like your your that's your mission, your vision and your and your and your and your and your and your aims and your objective are aligned to this. Now there's nothing about this thing you don't know. There's a, there'll be a stage in life. There'll be a stage where you get to as a volunteer. People will recommend you. you come in, come soon because I know that's your areas. Any organization that is working with the less privileged teenagers will always recommend you because they know you've have you have that idea, you've gone far on this volunteering aspect and all your volunteering focus on the less privileged teenagers. They always want you to come and educate their 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 volunteers on because they are their volunteers on how to work with the less privileged teenagers, maybe their policy or any one or two stops to just come and enlighten them for them to know more about it. You'll be able to understand more, gain more knowledge, you'll be able to make more impacts. It will help you a lot. Always make a difference anywhere you find yourself. As a volunteer, let me tell you, you don't have to wait to travel to Lokoja to make a difference. You can make a difference within your niche. You can make a difference within within your environment, within your society, within your community. Make a difference. People should know you. People should know what you are doing. People should understand you. People should know that people should know that this, this is you. That any place you are, you don't keep quiet. Any place you are, you don't just watch people just languish. You don't just watch teenagers just waste their life like that. You try as much as you can Volunteer your time to educate them, developing them, like help them, empower them. Be consistent. Yes, be consistent. That's very important. Make sure that as a volunteer, you're consistent to what, in what you're doing. You know what you're doing, you're consistent in it. When you have programs, you're always out for it. When 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 organization you're working with has program, you're always ready. Don't give fleas, don't give unnecessary excuse. Just make sure that you're always there. Eh? And when things are coming up, you're ready to help. You're ready to give out your time. Yes. It, there, are, there, are, there, are, there are people that don't have money to give out. They're ready to give out their time, their ability, their skills. Yes. And the people that have money, they, maybe they're not available. They can give out their money. They might not be there to give out their skills and the rest. Like someone like me, I give out my skills. Yes, because I have different kind of skills. Yes, that's just me for you. I mean skills. I have different type. So I give out my skills. I try as much as possible in any organization I am to equip the less privileged teens or youth with skills. I might not have money to give to the organization, but I have my skills. I have my time. I have my ability. Yes. I'll give it out. Why am I there? If I'm not doing all these things, why am I there? So it's very, very important. Always plan ahead always plan ahead yes always plan ahead always plan ahead. it's very very important you plan ahead as a volunteer yes maybe you are having i've seen students because i've experienced this businessmen business women who are volunteers struggling on how to volunteer and and how to how to run their business or school activities Yes, I've been into this space before, like I've experienced such thing before and I know what it takes. That's what I'm saying is I'm going to be doing a video on how I was able to balance my school activities, my business and my volunteer activities. I'm going to be doing a video very soon. Guys, wait for it, guys. So, make sure you plan ahead. If you're having a program, maybe next week, next upper week. Okay, let's say if you're having a, a, a program in two weeks time, 
by now you should be able to put it in your jota or your reminder that you're having a program next in, next in two weeks time so any appointment that you will be having that will hinder that volunteering activity at that space try as much as possible to avoid it keep to time keep to time i have not been in fact, I know I've not really been a good fan on this one though. I would not lie. I don't really be a good fan on this keep to time. Like I'm really struggling with it to keep to time. I don't know. Maybe because most times we have volunteers always far from my destination. I don't know. But as but as much as you can, try and keep to time. It's very, very important. Yes, I'm even talking to myself right now. Keep to time. Very, very important. Make sure that your timing, everything in fact it's very very important keep to time that's why i said if you plan ahead you'll be able to keep to time yes you know the, i told you the other one was plan ahead if you plan ahead you'll be able to keep to time before if you keep to time before the organization uh, the ceo of the organization or the foundation is going to get to that place or the event you are there already waiting for them to tell you how good you are in your job as a professional volunteer you are you must keep to time. Problem solver. In any community you find yourself, be a problem solver, solve problems, help them. If you get to, if you find yourself in any community and you find that they're lacking one or two things and you can reach out to it, please go for it. Help them. Help them. Very, very important. If you're in an environment that there's no pipe bomb water, maybe people are going that far to go and fetch water in the stream. You can work with organization and work as a team, then bring in pipe water in that community. With this, people will appreciate what you've done. And people will always encourage as in you 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 always encourage people always encourage you and you know you know the blessings that comes with it also are there. And you always feel fulfilled that you've done something for this society, for this community. Yes, you've, you've taken that stress of them going to the river. You don't know how you save them from, from taking on healthy water. You're giving them a better one at this stage now. No, that's it. Providing a water for them, working with organization can help you to achieve your goals on that. Anyway, you found that you're a role model, yes. Once you're giving out to people, once you are ready to, to, to give your commitment, once you are ready to be consistent, once you are ready to reach out to people, once you are ready to, to do those things people are not able to do in a positive way, helping people, once you are ready to make a remarkable change, make a difference in society, you are a role model. People always look up to you. Kindly subscribe. See that red button? Click on it, please. Can you subscribe to my channel? Subscribe. Okay. Last one is going to be a question. Not really that it tips, but it's going to be a question. And I'll be doing a video on this question very soon. Yes. And the question says, why are you a volunteer? I'll be doing a video on this very soon. Why are you a volunteer? I'll be giving three options for you being a volunteer. You have to pick one and drop the answer on the comment section, please. Let's make this interactive. Drop your answer on the comment section. Are you being a volunteer because you want to get paid the money? Yep. Are you being a volunteer because you want to impart in people's life, you want to change life, you want to change your community, you want to make your community a better one, you want to be a change maker? Are you volunteering because you want to make Nigeria a better one? Are you volunteering because you want to be in that volunteering space? Can you drop your answer on the section box, on the comments box? It's very, very important. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, guys. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I love you guys.